click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? What's good, what's good? It's your boy, Mr. Locario. The bad boy of the dating game, what's good? Man, so it's like 2.30 in the morning while I'm recording this shit. But real quick, I I was like, I had something on my mind, man. I was like thinking, because I was watching this, uh, I was watching this clip from The Roommates. What up, Official King? Duke, Gabriel, what up? Sneaker Boy, Sneaker Cowboy, what's going on? Rock Stralin, what's up? EJ Style, what's going on, Mark? What up? RX3, what's good? Pitts, what's going on, bro? Yeah, I was thinking, I was watching this this uh, this uh clip from, um, from The Roommates, and it was interviewing this dude named, what's his name, Lewis Holes, or something like that. Anyway. What up, Style Pilot was popping. And in the clip, they were talking about, you know, like how to get women to desire you or something like that to that extent. Or, you know, basically talking about being desirable to women or whatever. But anyway, the dude, Lewis Holes, I think I, I think I'm saying his name right. I never heard of him until today. Um, And basically in the video, the gist of it was he was saying, you know, uh, like I became successful, you know, I got all this stuff going on, you know, I worked for years to get to the point where I'm at and, you know, and he, he kept saying, you know, I, I, the girlfriend I'm with is my dream girl. Now he's like, I got my dream girl. That's what he's saying, you know? And so I'm watching this and I'm just like shaking my head because what I find funny is there's a lot of guys out there who believe they have to go through so much shit to get a woman, right? If you think about this, guys are always trying to make more money. They're, they're like, I got to get on my purpose and then I can get girls. I got to, you know, get my money up and then I'm going to get girls. Why do men, why do we have to get all this shit to get a chick? You understand what I'm saying? Because he was like, man, you know, I finally got my dream girl. So he had to work for years, become successful to get his dream girl. Huh? That's crazy. That's what's up, Pitts. Appreciate it. Danny, what's going on? Mark, what up? But it's, but think about this. A lot of dudes, they 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 talk like this. Like they have to work really hard make a lot of money, uh, get a fancy car, get a nice house, get all these things, and then you can get your dream girl. Now, first of all, even talking about it in the sense of dream girl uh, already shows where dudes' minds are at, right? Because the thing is this, if you're saying it like that, you're basically putting the chick on a pedestal in the first place. But a lot of dudes believe they actually have to, you know, accomplish a bunch of shit in order to uh, make shit happen. Hold on, I am Egghead. <laughs> you trying to go on live? I got. I got to see if you got a a a, a picture. I I ain't putting nobody live unless you got a picture. If you ain't got no picture. We ain't going to make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Because cause, y'all dudes be on some other shit. But yeah, that's but it's funny because, you know, I was actually on a thread earlier also. Um, I was looking at, uh, I was on Coach Greg Adams' um, Instagram. Shout out to Co Coach Greg Adams. But I was on his Instagram and he posted a, a, a video of a guy. I, I don't know who the guy was or whatever, but I guess he was a, a successful dude. And he was, he was like a, um, either a soccer player or a football player. And he was on the field. And it was, I think, after a game. And all these girls came up to him and, you know, and all this other stuff, right? And so I'm looking at the comments. And, of course, 
I see in the comments, um, you know, they're talking about, you know, you, 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 you're, what's, what's that saying that guys be saying? They be like, you know, you'll never lose money chasing, you know, you never lose women chasing money, but you lose money chasing women. And, and I, I'm just like, I'm, why do guys keep saying this bullshit? Why? Why do guys keep saying this bullshit? Well, let me see how this, uh, this thing works with this, um, Okay, I see the picture right there. Cause when they when they when they show in that that y'all yeah, was trying to get on, I was like, I'm not seeing the pictures. But, I, but <laughs> let me see. Let me try to uh, let's 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 put bring some people on real quick. Let me bring somebody on real quick. All right. Yo. Yo. I'm you. What up? What up? I'm good. I'm good. What's going on? Really, thanks for all the game, man. Nice. Right, so what's up, man? Appreciate, appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Taking out. The I game. don't know if I can. What's I don't know if I can ask a question on this live. Yeah, ask, that... ask me whatever you want. Ask me whatever you want. What's good? What's going on? Okay, okay. So I, I drink a lot of beer, right? So I'm going through a month of detox where okay. I'm basically not eating. I'm just drinking like soluble water and whatnot, mm. and there's some honeys I know that I just met up with, like two of them. And it's like, mm. I met up with them two days before we smashed. Mm. And usually I call honeys uh, within a week and a week and a week mm. to get associated like that, you see. But I can't do that now because of the month thing. So how do I let them know that I still want to smash after the month is over, but they don't forget me type thing? You know? So you start, So you're saying that you you're not you're not smashing them for like a whole month is that what you're saying yeah because i'm literally drinking water i doubt i live in a, I, I i can't even get it up right now so it's oh, like okay. i'm so you, detox so you're like on some like type of fast or something like that okay yeah 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 <laughs> basically no nah, well this is really, just look oh you got it look listen if a girl's not your girlfriend or ain't no girl that's significant in your life you don't need to be calling her texting her anyway you know what i'm saying so you just any of these chicks just hit them up next month and just be like, "Yo, what's good?" And if they feeling you, they gonna they gonna make it happen. See, a lot of guys they have this thing where they think they need to keep entertaining a woman consistently to keep her interested. You don't need to do that. If you just hooking up with a girl, all you gotta do is call her to hook up, and then you ain't gotta see her for weeks, months, whenever. You can see her whenever you want to. When you whenever you want to see her. This this girls that I that I've smashed. And I won't call them for like three, four months. And then I hit them up randomly like, yo, what's good? How you been? And they'd be like, oh, what's going on? And then I go smash. And then I probably won't hit them up for another month and a half. You know what I'm saying? So if the girl want to see you, she's going to see you. You don't have to like keep tabs on her. And, and you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do none of that shit. Okay. Because now they're following me on Instagram, all of that, putting pressure to see them. So it's like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but I'll see you when I see you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta be worried about that. I'm telling you, when it, when a, when a woman is feeling you, right? She, you know, it, it usually what'll happen is this: either her attention's gonna go somewhere else because some other dude came in the picture and now she's all about him, or it'd be a situation where you might have did something to turn her off. But see, the thing is, is that usually she won't be turned off if you're not contacting her see a lot of times contacting a girl to a lot is the thing that can make it to where you turn her off because then you end up saying something or do something that makes her see you funny but if you don't contact her at all all she remembers is the last time y'all was fucking around you understand what i'm saying or if she's looking at your instagram she just see cool shit on instagram you see what i'm saying so that's it you just gotta hit her up whenever you feel like it and whenever you are ready and that's it and if she, if she's feeling you she gonna she gonna make it happen again you know what i'm saying Right, right, right. Thanks, bro. Yeah, man. Now I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, you're the best, man, for life. What's up, <laughs> man? I appreciate it, bro. All right, man. All right, All right, man. That's what's up. All right. So how do I uh, do this thing? I'm, I'll, I'll be still new to this damn Instagram shit. I'll be still trying to figure this shit out. I don't do this shit a lot on Instagram. What's popping in the, in the, in the chat? Draft. Gene, what up? But yeah, man, that's the thing, yo. A lot, of, a lot, yo. A lot of dudes be thinking 
they need to go and do a lot of shit and become successful and then they could get bitches then they could get girls i'm like what are y'all talking about see is it's good to be successful don't get me wrong because i know some dudes i'm like oh little car are you telling us to be a bum no do your shit be on point make your money make shit happen you understand what i'm saying but the problem is, is that if you think you need to do a whole bunch of shit in order to get a chick, that's basically saying that the chick is more valuable than you and you had to create or accumulate some material possessions or, or material value to get to her level. What up, Mr. Method? What's going on? was popping but that's what i'm saying like dudes you talking about yo i got like there was this one dude in, in uh in the uh the thread i was looking at with that coach ray adams put up the dude was saying you know well you're not worth anything unless you achieve your goals in society or some crazy shit and this is how guys think they think that they need to achieve a certain thing or get a certain amount of money or get some type of accolades in order for them to be you know, desirable to women, but all the all the chick got to like I, I like I heard somebody say, you know, chicks. Where did I hear this? And I totally disagree with this shit. They were saying that, uh, you know, men have to create their value, and chicks are born with the value, or something like that. Like women just got value. But but us men, we don't. We gotta we gotta build our value. Like what kind of shit is that? So a woman, and, and and so when they say that, they're talking about in the sense of because a woman can acquire men who desire her because she's just there. But men, they think that men have to succeed and 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 get money and do all this other stuff uh, to be valuable to a woman. But see, understand that, that a lot of that is beta male talk. Because why do I have to do something to be valuable to a woman, but in order for her to be valuable to me, she ain't got to do nothing? What? You see what I'm saying? Like, that's goofy. You understand? JP said, why do uh, guys have this mindset? See, a lot of guys have this mindset because... They ain't got no game. You understand what I'm saying? They ain't got no game. You understand? See, a lot, see, this is the thing. You're going to have that mindset if you're the type of guy who has trouble getting women. Because some dudes, what happens is this, is that either they get success, they get money, and then for some reason they're able to get a chick here or there that's going to fuck with them and it's either because the chick is fucking with them just because they have money and they're the gold digger type or the, or what happens is the guy gets uh, confidence through his success and then he feels more confident to interact with the uh with the chicks because even what was funny what, 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 what was funny with that roommate's uh interview with the dude uh was his name lewis holes or whatever his name was that i was talking about earlier what I found funny was, was that the the guy was saying, "Oh well, she, you know, she DM'd me. She 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 contacted me first, right?" So he was like, "Well, she contacted me first, you know." And so he was feeling himself, talking about, "Well, she well, I'm like, duh, she's gonna contact you first because you're a dude who is successful. You're you're well known. You understand what I'm saying?" Um, I think he got like a million subscribers on YouTube. You know, he has a following or whatever it is like that. So you're well known. So of course she's going to DM you first because she's trying to get the bag. She's trying to be a part of that situation. You understand what I'm saying? So, so the regular guy who's watching that, he's thinking, oh, well, I'm just going to wait for chicks to DM me. They're not going to DM you like they're DM DMing him because he's built himself to the point where chicks can see him like that but again they're only they're fucking with him because of his status and where he's at which most dudes are not going to be in that same position he is which means most dudes are not going to have the experience 
of just some random chick DMing them on Instagram or random chicks consistently DMing them. But again, like I said, this is why guys think they need to get all that shit popping because they're like, oh, well, I would love for these girls to DM me like that. But guess what these girls are doing when they DMing you like that? They're looking at you as a come up. They're not DMing you because they like you. They're not DMing you because they think you're sexually attractive. They're DMing you because, oh, if I can get with this guy who everybody knows, then I could be in the limelight. I can ride his coattails and be about what he's about. But it doesn't mean that she's interested in you because the, the moment somebody else who has more status than you comes around, you're done. You understand what I'm saying? You're done. Who else was on, who's on here? Let me let me see who else is on here real quick. You know, I don't want to be here too long. I'll probably make it like, it's like a half an hour or something real quick. It's crazy. Hey, what's up? Look, what up? What up? What's going on? Not yeah, much. How you doing, man? I'm from Montreal, Canada. Yes, what's up? Let's go, let's go with you. I'm just here, man. I just want to say uh, I'm, a, I'm a great fan of you. And, um, Appreciate it, bro. I follow your... Yeah, man, I like what you're spitting, and then um, cause me, I'm from the Caribbean, right? I'm from Haiti, mm -hmm. and then, um, you know, like us in Haiti, we we don't really talk about game mm -hmm. with like a pretty strict, right? Mm -hmm. So me, I and stuff like by myself, but I'm like almost forty years old, but I learned to, you know, you learn stuff with life day by day, right? Mm -hmm. but, but video man, they really help me, man. Like seriously, like right. they really, really help. Me. Mm. That's so, about. And then when you do, I ordered your book last year, mm. and I still didn't get. It. You say you ordered it and you still didn't get the book? Yeah. Well, hold on, say that again. You say you said you ordered the book last year and you still didn't get it. Yeah, I ordered it on um on Amazon. On Amazon and Amazon, that, that's that's a, a ebook. You didn't get the ebook. It's not a, it's not a physical copy. It's an ebook. No, cause I when I when I check, I check for the um, physical book, not the uh, ebook. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the Amazon is not the that's not the physical book. That's an ebook. If you want the physical book, you got to go to my website, bro. <laughs> that's what it is. Oh my god! Yeah, okay, the I'm my bad. Physical book is on the, on the website. The, the ebook is on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Okay, okay. But um, but yeah, if you want yeah, the so physical book, just, just email me and I'll send you the link to to the to the physical book. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool, cool. But like I said, yeah, I watch your show like almost every day. Man. Yeah, man. Appreciate it's like, yo, listen, even though I'm I'm almost in my 40s, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's good to learn every day, you know, like even though, I mean, because in life you mm -hmm. never stop learning. Right. Especially with this. Trust me, you guys, man, thumbs up, man. You guys, yo, you guys are great, man. No, nah, that's <laughs> what's up, man. Yeah, I, pre I appreciate it, my brother. You feel what I'm saying? I appreciate it. So... Keep what you're doing, man, and yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep following guys on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep watching you guys, and uh, hopefully, man, yo, I become a pimp like you. <laughs> What's up, man? Yo, appreciate, appreciate you, bro. All right, man, yeah, take care. All right, bro. All right. Yeah. Peace, peace. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, how do I? Okay, cool. I want uh uh got in Don Detta. You said the more successful you become, the more confident you get. Sounds like you just want people to buy your program. Uh, how do I how do I get you on on the um uh the thing? I'm 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 trying to go live with you right now. Let's let's go live. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm trying to bring you up real quick. I'm trying to bring you up real quick so we can talk about it. How do I get you up on here? Yo, God, I'm trying to get you on here, bro. Let's let's make this happen. I'm I'm clicking to go live with you, bro. Let's do this. Because <laughs> dudes are making comments and then they don't want to talk. I'm like, yo. Because he said, he said, uh, the more successful you become, the more confident you get. See that's the see that's the problem with, with with people. You can become more confident the more successful you get, but if you're if you're only becoming confident because you're getting successful, that means that you don't really have core confidence. 
You understand what I'm saying? That means you don't have core confidence. And this is the problem with a lot of these guys. Y'all be trying to get shit or attain certain things, and then you feel good about yourself. Why can't you feel good about yourself now? Like right now where you're at, why can't you feel good about yourself? Because see, what happens is that if you're waiting for you, you if you're waiting to be successful to feel good about yourself, then what's going to happen is that there may be a time where, let's say you do get the success, now you feel good about yourself. And let's say, let's say you, at that point, something happens where your success goes away. So now are you saying that you can't feel good about yourself now if your success goes away? Are you telling me that, well, now you can't get girls because you don't have any success anymore? Are you saying that you are now not desirable to women because you don't have success? This is what you, listen, let me tell you guys something. If a woman is only with you because you're successful, that means she doesn't really like you. I'm going to say that again. If a woman is only with you because you're successful, that means she does not really like you. You understand? She, she's, she's with you because of the bag. She's with you because of the success. Now, that's all fine and good if you're cool with that. But understand that that's why she's with you. And then when somebody else has more success than you, she's gone because she has nothing she's holding on to as far as you are concerned. You said, how are you going to get core confidence without medication or trauma release? God, bro, come on the live. Why are you not get coming on the live? You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? So you, th you think you need medication to become confident? What are you talking about, bro? This is what I'm saying. This is why dudes are going to be losing out here. You understand? Confidence comes from within. I don't, like, it's, it's, it's sad that dudes don't be getting this stuff, man. Uh, Callis, uh, C, she said, if a woman can continuously tries to be with you, but at the same time continu uh, continuously starts drama with you, what's their deal? <laughs> Listen, man. That that's a, that's a chick. Either she got mental issues, or she just don't respect you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't even be with a woman like that, or entertaining that type of situation. Tapeum, you said so. She's ge she's genuinely not interested in me. She's just interested in what I can potentially do for her. Yes, this one. Listen, let me tell you something. You know, I, I talked about this, and I'm actually I actually talk about this in my new book I'm coming out with. Um, I'm not going to say the title of the book, but I'll just say this. There's a chapter in there where I talk about the five types of attraction. I've talked about this before. There's physical attraction, sexual attraction, behavioral attraction, resource attraction, and friendship attraction. You understand what I'm saying? So now, if you're successful, success falls under basically that resource attraction, because usually from success, you get resources. And so a woman can be attracted to you because of your resources. You understand what I'm saying? So if a woman is attracted to you because you're successful, she's not really into you. She's just into the success. She's just into the bad. She's into what that, you know, what that means. You understand what I'm saying? See, when a woman's really into you, she's sexually attracted to you and she's attracted to something in your personality and behavior and all that other shit. You understand what I'm saying? So what guys don't understand, and this is why guys worry about shit like hypergamy and all that other stuff is because hypergamy is where the woman is basically, what is it like trading up or some shit or trying to get the, the, you know, the bigger, better deal. But see, what does that mean if she's trading up? That means she's getting more than what you have, right? But what does it mean for a woman to get a guy who has more than what you have? That means that she's getting something that can be quantified, you understand? Which is your money, your success, your resources, 
So it, it really only applies to that. See, she can't get a better you because you're the only you. You understand what I'm saying? You're the only you. You see what I mean? Hold on. Let me see if I could, if we could get uh, got on this thing. All right. I'm sent, I sent to the press. Yo. What up? No, not much, bro. Just chilling, eh? All right, so what's so what's 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 the deal? Let, let, let's talk. Let's talk. Let me know what's good. Um, I don't know, like, like how you're talking about um, not to get on your purpose type shit. You know what I mean? Like, um, like how how do you teach to get um core confidence? If like, do you teach to do um lots of cold approach or or like do you? do the spiritual stuff like trauma release and like meditation. Like, do you know what I mean? You say, do I teach meditation and trauma release and all that? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't teach any of that stuff. But I just don't understand how you're going to get core confidence from anything else. Cause I think that is like the core. Do you know what I mean? Well, let me ask you a question. Uh, last night before you went to sleep, right? Did you believe yeah. did you believe he was gonna wake up this morning? Yeah. Okay, so so basically what you're saying, you, you were confident that you were gonna wake up this morning, right? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because it's happened so many times. No, it hasn't. You did, you waking up this morning only happened this morning. You've woken up yeah. other mornings, but it only this morning when you woke up, it only happened this morning. That was the only time it happened. But you believed it was going to happen. Right? Yeah. So what I'm saying is, is that that's the essence of what we talk about core confidence. It's just the belief. There was no evidence that you was going to wake up this morning, even though you think it was because you woke in the previous mornings, but those are the previous mornings. So even if you thought that based off of the previous mornings, that was still a belief you had within yourself of something that didn't even happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's that's a, an example of core confidence. It's basically just a belief in yourself, a belief that you have, where you don't have to have had done something before. You don't. There, there doesn't have to be any evidence. It's just a belief. That's what we talk about confidence. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But but like um, sort of like when it comes to women, like you know how. I don't know. It's just so hard to control it. Do you know what I mean? Like with all the micro body language and um, your energy and stuff. Like, like I've tried everything. I've tried when I first got into all this stuff. I tried. Um, I was doing. Uh, I was in the pickup shit. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I did that. I did that for a while, and then through that, I ended up getting into like the sort of spiritual stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, when I when I went out. And um, did approaches and stuff. I ended up getting like really good results from mm. like um from meditation. Right. Have you? So have you tried that? No, I haven't tried that. Like meditation. Yeah, because um, it it stills your brain like makes your brain go like slower, and you, mm. I don't know, you just don't have much thought, and it's just like. You just don't have any negative thoughts, so your um your micro expressions and shit. Mm. I don't know. For for me, I just had like a real um. Like my face was sort of like um. Like it wasn't goofy at all. It just was like um, sort of like a, I guess a little bit gangster. Do you know what I mean? Like I just didn't have. It, they couldn't read my body language at all. Like mm. I was just like it was like a poker face. Do you know what I mean? Right. Well, I mean, this has the meditation helped you with with uh getting with girls like approaching girls and talking to girls yeah yeah that's what i'm saying like like i've fell off it now i'm i'm not doing it now because um i've just been stressed and i just like it's sort of hard for me to get into it but once i i get into it and i start pumping it for like say two weeks and shit mm -hmm. and i just stay on it um yeah like i'm just way more confident and shit like it's just yeah like really i reckon it works right but yeah well, the thing is, the thing is, you know, whatever, whatever helps you is good. So if meditation or anything you're doing that helps you to 
succeed and get to the next level and make things work for you, just do that. You feel what I'm saying? Like you got to definitely do that. The thing that I, the thing that I yeah. try to get guys to understand is that I, I, I don't want guys to be, uh, you know, trying to do things as far as having things that are a crutch that don't have anything to do with themselves. Cause a lot of times what guys do is they look at stuff outside themselves. So they say, well, you know, once I get, you know, once I make a hundred thousand a year, then I'm going to stop. I'm going to start to be able to go get women or once I do this and what you see what I'm saying. So what I try to get guys yeah. to do is, is that if you don't have that stuff, how do you accomplish your, your goal as far as dealing with women? And so what I try to get guys to do is to understand that you don't need anything but yourself in order to get girls, period. So when a lot of guys are talking about money or success or one side, yeah. that that type of stuff holds you back because then yeah, you're it's like a um a beta male provider mindset pretty much. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that yeah, that's you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah, I, I think it's I don't know, it's good to have everything together, I guess, like because then you can get you can get like um what. Because it comes down to abundance, sort of. So if you got more abundance, like you might have a few chicks that um see you as a beta male provider, but then them chicks are going to give you more confidence to get other chicks, and then you have just more confidence, and you know what I mean. It'll just keep going up and up and up. Yeah, because you can you can build your confidence by, you know, doing certain things and then saying, okay, cool, I can do that. I did that. And then once you do it, you're like, you reaffirm to yourself that it can happen. So that that's the way you can build confidence. You see what I'm saying? Because, but again, it's still all coming from within you. This is, so it always goes back to the self. So what I tell guys is that even if they haven't done anything, they can still be confident right now by just believing in themselves, just by making a decision. Because it's really a decision. It's, it's you deciding to believe you can do A, B, and C. Now, if you if you've done A, B, and C already, and you've accomplished it, and you've you've been successful at it, that's even better because then you can say, okay, cool, I can take from that experience and build on it. But when guys think that they only can have confidence if they have the experience, then they're holding themselves back. You see what I'm saying? And that and that's the that's the issue. It's almost like it's almost like if I said, like, imagine somebody said uh, they wanted to start a business. And then, and then somebody else is like, well, you can't start a business unless you have $50,000 to invest. So now the person will be like, you know what? I guess I can't start a business. I'm just going to sit on my ass and not do nothing. Or I'm, I'm going to have to wait till I get $50,000, which is bullshit. You could start a business right now. You feel what I'm saying? Now, again, yeah. you had $50,000. Yeah, maybe it'll be easier to invest, but you don't necessarily, you don't need $50,000 to start a business. You can just decide to do it and start getting to work today and figure out what you can do with what you have. You see what I'm saying? And so that's, that's the, that's the mindset that, that winners have It's like, I'm not letting nothing stop me and I'm not going to sit there and wait or feel like I can't do it because I don't have any of these things. And then if you do feel like having a certain thing or a certain situation is going to help you, you just strive to get that. You know what I'm saying? So it, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you um do you teach like much like cold approach stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's what I teach. Well, you don't like that shit. Yeah, I teach all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I teach cold approach. I teach yeah, how to talk to girls, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because um, like like I said before, I get confidence out of the meditation, and also I get confidence out of like sort of like getting rejected a bit. Like you know when you go out and you get blown out, mm. and then you just don't give a fuck about anything. Right. And then you, your mind just shuts off mm -hmm. type of shit. Right. Yeah. The more you do it, the the, the the easier it becomes. And then the more that you don't care about the rejections. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's nothing. Yeah. Fluff your back. You know what I'm saying? That is yeah, because, like, when I first got into all this, um, I pumped, like, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um, cold approaches. Mm-hmm. But then I found um I found the meditation stuff, mm. and then I I and now and I ended up finding alpha male strategies, <laughs> mm. and I actually found you from alpha male strategies, because mm. he was saying that he he couldn't um 
work out why he kept on losing chicks' interest. Mm. And then he said he found your channel and that other bold white guy. All right, that's what's up. And, that's what's up. And then I, lo- and then I looked you up. Yeah. And I did, I did, I did like your channel because it had a bit of that um, red pill and pick up together. Mm. Yeah, that's what's up. But hey, man, I, I, I'm glad that you, uh, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> I'm glad that you uh, found it, and I hope, I hope that it, uh, you know, that it works out for you, man. You feel me? But uh, yeah, bro. But yeah, man, I'm about to, I'm about to uh, head up out of here though. But man, I appreciate you, uh, you know, coming on. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, all good, bro. All right, man. I'm out. Alright, see you cuz. See you cuz. Alright, be safe. Peace, peace. You, you too, lad. Alright. Alright, guys. So it's like, man, it's like fucking 3 o'clock in the morning. So let me uh let me head up out of here. Man, I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. You feel what I'm saying? Um uh make sure you guys hit me up. Badboymembership.com. You feel what I'm saying? If you guys want to join that bad boy membership to really step up your game. And get that shit cracking. Go to badboymembership.com. And make sure you guys get that Game Kings documentary. That's it right there in the background at Game Kings. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you guys check that out. What's going on? It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. And what I want to talk about today is the Bad Boy Membership Contest. All you have to do to be eligible to win the Bad Boy Membership Contest is to be a Bad Boy member. See, what we realize is that when guys join the Bad Boy Membership, they make the transition from simp to player very quickly. And we're just trying to make that transition just a little bit easier. So here's what you get if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. So here's what you receive if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. A bottle of Bad Boy Cologne by Carolina Herrera, New York. A luxury designer timepiece. And a $100 gift card. To increase your chances of winning, share this post in your story, tag three friends, and subscribe to Mr. Lucario or the Miles Cunningham YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. And follow real mr lucario and miles in the game on instagram the winner will be announced at the first of the month good luck click the link below and get your bad boy gear get the t-shirts submissive women are sexy binary as fuck and i'm god to these hoes click the link below to get your bad boy gear today now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.